Moving along at the first memorial service of the school children who died in a horror minibus taxi crash near Broncot Strait will be held today. Now, the service will be held in Sokulumi village where four of the victims attended Matlenga Secondary School. Gauteng MEC for Education, Banyazali Sufi, as well as the Mbumalanga MEC for Community Safety, Pat Ngomani, are expected to attend. The group died when the minibus they were traveling in crashed into a truck and burst into flames on April the 21st, leaving almost all of them burnt beyond recognition. Forensic experts have since finalized the process of identification through DNA testing on Monday. A mass funeral will be held for 16 of the learners and a general worker from Refano Primary School who was the father of two children in the taxi on Saturday in Volvengop near the scene of the crash. Now, seven people were injured in the accident and three remain in hospital. The driver of the minibus was buried in Volvengop this past Saturday. Well, still with me in studio, we're joined by Steve Mabona, the Gauteng Province Education Spokesperson. Thank you so much for staying with us, Steve. Now, just on this topic, um, can you just give us a bit of insight regarding the memorial services that will be taking place for the students as well as the adult that passed on? Thank you very much. As the funeral committee of the, uh, this uh, service, that is um, Pumalanga in Gauteng, mm -hmm. uh, there was a decision that we need to have two memorial services, that is of uh, school-oriented and the public. Uh, because the feeling was that we need to give the learners and the educators some space, you know, to celebrate their fellow learners. And uh, so we decided that to today we need to give them that space, uh, give them an opportunity to, 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 to heal and talk about their fellow colleagues and the, the educators also. And uh, so we felt that we need to do that. So today, we are facilitating that memorial service mm -hmm. where both governments will be participating, both MECs from Gauteng and from Pumalanga will be there. The local government, uh, mayors, uh, they've been supportive, they've been there throughout uh, you know, this process, so they will also be there. And the, the leadership in the, in the area will also assist uh, just to make sure that the process uh, go you know, without any glitch. And uh, on Thursday, we will then move into the public one. Everyone is welcome to come there, uh, celebrate these lives, and uh, make sure that uh, we, we lay them, you know, come Saturday to rest, you know, in a very dignified manner. Well, um, just uh, looking at uh, uh, what the education department, perhaps even in conjunction with the transport department, can do um, to try and avoid future occurrences of such gruesome accidents. Look, the Department of Transport uh, has been information at our disposal. They are working very tirelessly on making sure that they regulate, you know, scholar transport on how, you know, our kids are ferried to school. And, uh, but in the state department, uh, MEC has already indicated that this is, a, is an eye-opener for, for, for the Department of Education to look at the scholar transport, uh, more especially where we have the cross-border. Uh, how do we say... Uh, when we are about to reach, uh, probably go out of Gauteng, reach Mpumalanga, where do we, how do we assist to go into Mpumalanga and how does Mpumalanga probably will assist to come to us? How do we make sure that our system, mm. in terms of the, the, the border policy on coming to scholar transport, it seamless works to work together because we've realized that if only, it's only 12 kilometers that separate the two provinces, why must we have uh, challenges in making sure that we uh, accommodate the kids that deserve scholar transport, unlike them fending for themselves, making sure that uh, their um, uh, parents, they make sure that they get that transport and all that. Why don't we make, find a way of working together, all those that deserve uh, scholar transport, whether they're in Pumalang and Gauteng, if it's just a few kilometers and they they both benefit from both the uh, provinces. Why can't we then have a policy that will be accommodating that? So the, we have started uh, engaging on that and uh, probably it will yield uh, more results, uh, which I will be favorable so that we can then utilize those into other uh, provinces as well. 
Well, thank you so much for that insight um, into the memorial services as well as what the departments are doing to work together to try and reduce some um, fatalities on the roads. Um, that was uh, uh, Steve Mabona from the Gauteng Province uh, Education Spokesperson. They're joining us just letting us know that there is a memorial service taking place today, a more school-oriented memorial service, and one more public-oriented on Thursday for those who passed on in the gruesome accident near Bronco Strait there.